Hi, I'm Blake from Burke PC, and today we're replacing the screen on an Acer Aspire 1 netbook. This model is a D257, but it's a, somewhat of a newer model. That should be the basics for, for all the models. You see the screen is cracked throughout. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to power the netbook off and remove the battery. So the battery off to the side. Um, next, there's the screws are covered by two little tabs. I've already removed these tabs just to save some time, so I'd like sticking them just on the bezel here so you don't lose them. So taking those two off, and we'll take a small Phillips screwdriver and remove those two screws. Now you want to take some kind of pry tool, you can usually buy them off eBay or if you already have something. Um, probably you want something that's somewhat soft, um, so you're not going to crack the screen or, anymore. Um, so we're just going to carefully pry around the inside. This screen's already cracked, so it doesn't really matter if you, if you damage it anymore. But uh, just want to be careful. I've already went around this and, and loosened it off, to, again, just to save some time. So. But you want to be careful, those little plastic clips in here that, that pop off, so you want to be nice and careful doing it so you don't want to break them off. So let's bring it back on. So I've already loosened this, so I'm just going to go around on the outside and just you can hear the little plastic tabs just snapping off. In this particular screen, there's a, the webcam, so you have to be careful around there not to damage it. So we're just going to pry this off. Sometimes you do it with your fingers, but other times you have to use the, the pry sure. tool. And just in the bottom. You should be able to just lift these little hinges off straight up. So put that off the side. Next, there's just uh, four screws that actually hold the screen itself on. But first, you want it, the, the ribbon cable comes all the way up the back and connects also the webcam mic up here. So we're just going to remove that very carefully first. And then we're going to take these four shoes off again with the Phillips. We'll fill up screw over again. Now I can just take this screen off. Um, I don't know if I have to do I'm picking up a point that's being prepared without a tag and a note. Just punching the budgets. I saw it was tagged. There's a little white one there. I don't know if it's ready. The new one should be ready. I don't know if you need to do it. Now, um, it's just this ribbon cable is connected through a, through a multi thing connector on the back. So, there's just tape holding it on down. You just have to just hold this down to disconnect it. So there's your crack screen removed. Don't need that anymore. So now we take our new screen from uh, ScreenCountry.com and uh, we'll take the plastic off it. Use some nice pads down just to protect the screen that's on. So now we're just going to do everything in reverse and we're just going to put this connector just back in the bottom. Sometimes it's the trickiest part of the whole thing. You see it kind of click in, it's ready. And we'll just thread this back up top. So now we'll put the screen back on the back of the puzzle. Thank you. Now we'll put the four screws back in. Okay. Just 
took us in a bad accident, so I'll put that back in. Not what he carried with himself. So it's just these four screws that actually hold the screen onto the back bezel. <laughs> This is actually a nice matte screen compared to this glossy screen, which uh, you see it's shiny and glossy. The screen's nice and matte, so it won't reflect as much sunlight. Now we'll just reconnect this. A little connector for the webcam and the mic. There we go. Now let's replace this bezel. So just should snap in back on the hinges down here. You have to carefully go along and just press on the outside. You don't want to press too much too close to the screen, you're going to crack in it again. So just careful on the side, and again, careful webcam. As you press along, you hear it kind of snap back into place as those little plastic clips catch. Now let's put these two last screws back in place. And all you have to do is put those little, 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 little tabs we took off at the start. We stuck on the bezel back on just to cover up the screws. Right, let's put it all done. We'll just throw the uh, battery back in, test it in. So it's a booting now and the screen works perfectly. Thanks again. Uh, this was a screen replacement for an Acer One uh, netbook and I'm Blake from Perth PC. Thank you. Bye.